Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Mono VM YouTube channel. Today, we're kicking off a series on remotely connecting to Kali Linux from your Windows machine using RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. Setting up Kali Linux. Before diving into the RDP connection, let's ensure Kali Linux is ready for remote access. In the previous video, we learned how to install Kali Linux on Windows. Search for Kali Linux. Click on the Start menu and search for Kali Linux. Open Terminal. Click on the Kali Linux application icon. This will open a terminal window. Update Package Lists. In the terminal window, type the following command and press Enter. sudo apt update y. This command updates the list of available software packages for Kali Linux. Install XFCE Desktop. Now, let's install the XFCE Desktop environment providing a graphical interface for remote access. Type the following command and press enter. sudo apt install ykali desktop xfce. This command will download and install the x desktop environment. The installation process might take a while, so be patient and wait until it finishes. Keyboard configuration. During the installation, you might encounter a window titled configuring keyboard configuration for selecting the keyboard layout. In the video, we select English, US, and click OK. Once the installation is completed, we'll be ready to configure the RDP server services on Kali Linux in the next part of this series. Stay tuned. Update XFCE to XFCE4 and install RDP server service. We updated Kali Linux and installed the XFCE desktop environment in the last part. Now, it's time to configure and start the RDP server to enable remote access from Windows. Configuring RDP. Search for Kali Linux. Click on the Start menu and search for Kali Linux. Open Terminal. Click on the Kali Linux application icon. This will open a terminal window. Update Package Lists, optional. Since we might have new packages available after installing XFCE, let's update the package lists again. Type the following command and press enter. sudo apt update y. Download a shell file named xfc4 from GitLab. We'll get https colon slash slash github.com slash ux slash recipes slash kali dash script slash dash slash ru slash main slash x dash f dash c dash e4 dot sh. Check for script. We need to run a script to configure the xrdp server. First, let's see if the script exists. Type the following command and press enter. ls. This command lists the files and folders in the current directory. Look for a file named xfce4.sh. Make script executable, if needed. If the script exists, we need to give executable permission before running it. Type the following command and press enter, replace xfc4.sh with the actual file name if it's different. chmod plus xxfc4.sh. Run configuration script. Now, let's run the script to configure the xrdp server. Type the following command and press enter. sudo slash xfc4.sh. This script will install the XRDP server and might prompt you for keyboard configuration. Choose English, US, and click OK if needed. Wait until the configuration process finishes. Check RDP status. Let's verify if the XRDP service is running. Type the following command twice, pressing Enter after each. sudo slash etc slash nit dot d slash XRDP status. The first command will show the current status of the service. If it's not running, the second command will start it. sudo slash etc slash nit .d slash xrdp start. Edit RDP configuration, optional. The xrdp configuration file allows for some customization. We'll access it using the nano text editor. Type the following command and press enter nano slash etc slash xrdp slash xrdp dot For example, in this tutorial, the RDP login port has been changed to 3390. Editing configuration files can be risky. Be cautious and only modify what you understand. Remote desktop connection, optional. 
In this step, we'll demonstrate connecting to the Kali Linux RDP server from within the same virtual machine, not recommended for real-world scenarios. Skip this step if you don't want to do this. In a new window, navigate to the search bar and type Remote Desktop Connection. Click on the Remote Desktop Connection app. In the Computer field, type 127.0.0.1.3390. This connects to the local machine on port 3390, the default RDP port. Click Connect. You might see a security warning. Click Yes to proceed. In the login window, enter your Kali Linux username and password. Click OK. Close the plugin, optional. Close the remote desktop connection window if you perform the optional step 9. Kali Linux is now ready for local RDP. Following these steps, you've successfully configured Kali Linux to accept RDP connections.